Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Tell you, this is a classic matchup. Boxer versus brawler. It is played out going back over 100 years in the sport. Many would say probably the most classical matchup in the sport. I love to look at a matchup like this, and historically the fans enjoy it because the strengths are also the weaknesses of both fighters. You know, the box, he wants to stay on the outside and be able to catch somebody coming in. But when the brawler gets close, now all of a sudden, he makes that boxer very uncomfortable. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Able to dismiss that body shot. Now he ties up there. The Naturals way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Keep your distance. Davis is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Able to get rid of that one. Right back to it upstairs. Work the box, work that box. Unload! Fierce left hand that landed by Davis. Keep your hands up. Don't worry. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working the yab, okay? Double up the yab and keep moving. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. by the natural. Nice strike after catching one by Davis. The Naturals in there clinching a lot, it seems to me. I, know, I mean, he was stunned earlier, but it just seems like he's tying up. Hey, if it seems like that to you, that's okay. But more importantly, more dangerously for him, it probably seems that way to his opponent. And he's going to take advantage of it. He knows that he's not right. Half 
halfway through this round. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Slow get him! Teddy, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first of all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? A well-placed left hand up top. The Nationals the target of a hook. Big shot there. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? he just caught the bell rings at the end of the round saved by the bell and if you're in the corner what do you do well you just finished painting the house you know and you want to paint a little more but the paint is still wet you gotta wait for it to dry a little bit you gotta wait for your guy to wake up you gotta wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting you're not focusing Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. The Naturals thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know, that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. Joe, if he was a counterpuncher, it'd be okay. You know, your defense creates offense when you're a counterpuncher. He is not that kind of fighter. He can't win this way. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. The Naturals left, landing well. Good shot to the head with that right hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Davis is left now getting into the mix. The Naturals got the mentality right now of fine, bombs away. He went down earlier, and now he sees this as his only way of getting back in this fight. Yeah, he's behaving like a guy out in the street. And that's okay for a guy out in the street. You get desperate, you act a little amateurish, you just start throwing bombs, hoping to get rid of the guy. But it's not okay if you're a professional fighter. He's going to pay a price for this.
Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard, where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the boss, and you can continue to be the boss. And more importantly, the opponent now, he's a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught, he might get hurt again. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Davis is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Davis. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. The Naturals in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. You see him holding on. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Nice work, nice work, nice Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Go, go, go. Finish with a hook. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. And just grabbing on to his opponent. <gasps> This has been hurt. Keep moving. Get out of there. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. A stinging uppercut by Davis. And now he's targeting upstairs. Yep, yep. That hook was well off the mark. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Able to dismiss it. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching.
accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches. But the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, you should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? <laughs> I mean, your feet would have Keep to stand where you can going. hit the ball where your feet are pointing. Keep That's pushing. the problem. His feet are crooked. They're pointing the wrong way, and his punches are going the wrong way. Final 10 seconds. Get some what? Start of a new round, and you got to expect his opponent to jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him to get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. that hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect Go. One, two. One, two. One, two. a little give and take and here comes the left hand off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs Good job. halfway through this round here Great movement to get away from those punches. That's it, just like that. Start your head. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. right back with some offense of his own. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Locks that punch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five. Six. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? 
Davis is hurt by a big shot. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. Yeah, he's aware that he has to be. through the seventh round. Let it go! There you go! Get your hands up! Davis is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. The natural's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Seven rounds in the book so far. We look at Teddy's scorecard. Davis is in good shape. He is leading on Teddy's scorecard, but a lot of action still to come. This is where things can change halfway through a fight. Yeah, this could be a danger zone. You know, the danger zones, a lot of people, whatever they do, they see them, you know, late in a fight or maybe very early in a fight. In the middle part, they think they're past that. You're not past that. You stop doing what you're doing, and this can turn on you very fast. A good block. is in bad shape it's like a light switch and bang and away he goes some way somehow he's got to try to get up davis is down and he looks to be out now we're gonna see what's inside this man one two three four five the ref is stopping this fight the natural smashed and he can't get up Unable to beat the count.
Hopefully it ends the way most fans want it to end. Not in the hands of the judges, determined by the fist. He's a knockout victor. Well, exactly what fans are always looking for. It's kind of like walking into a room and there's somebody hidden behind the door and they hit you on the head. You're going to go out cold because you don't have time to register it. You don't have time to prepare and brace for it. He never saw this coming. Out of the blue. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.